Today I'm sharing five incredible free software applications that can seriously level up your digital productivity. Whether you're browsing, editing, researching, or analyzing data, there's going to be something here for you. We've got an ad-free, privacy-focused web browser, powerful image editor, audio editing tool, an AI deep research assistant, and the statistics software favored by thousands of researchers around the world. All of them work on Windows, Mac, and Linux, and all of them are free. Not just free trial, but genuinely free. First up, we've got the Brave browser. Brave has been around for a while. It was originally built on a Chrome-style browser, but it has a whole lot of built-in extra features. Primarily, people use it for its privacy features and the fact that it will block all types of advertising, pop-ups, pixels, tracking, things like that. Functions just like a normal browser. In addition to those privacy things, it's got a built-in wallet, got a built-in AI assistant, if we click on the thing there, and it's also got a powerful built-in VPN. The VPN does cost extra, but Brave itself is completely free, and in fact it's even better than free. If you do want it to show you some adverts, you can earn cryptocurrency from doing so. Next up we have GIMP. GIMP has been around for a really long time, and it's a really useful image editor. Completely free, works across Mac, Windows, and Linux. You can use it for editing photos, you can use it for creating art, you can use it for graphic design. It's got a lot of the features that you would normally be paying many hundreds of dollars in something like Photoshop for. And whilst there's a little bit of a learning curve, it is certainly no harder than Photoshop, possibly even a little bit easier. If you need to record or edit any kind of audio, then Audacity is an excellent starting point. It can do a whole lot of different editing. You can use it to remove buzz, make things deeper, just edit and cut things out and move them around. All sorts of basic and even some fairly advanced editing features. Whilst ChatGPT Deep Research currently costs $200 a month, Gemini have actually very quietly rolled out Deep Research of their own, and currently it is free to access. So go into Gemini, and from the drop down at the top, we can select Deep Research. It's not exactly the same as the ChatGPT one, but it will still do a very thorough deep research looking at lots of different articles and sources, being able to write really good quality summaries for you, and also link up to all of the references that it's used in the report. The final piece of software today is called R. R is free open source statistical software. It can do all manner of different analyses and data visualizations. I've been using it myself for 28 years. I was one of the very early users at the University of Auckland where it was created. It's used by many thousands of researchers and statisticians and data analysts all around the world, and it's completely free. If you want to learn more about getting started with R, then you can click here for my video, which is a getting started guide showing you what to download and how to perform some of the basic analyses, drawing some plots, loading up data into R and things like that. Thanks for watching. I'll be back really soon with more videos on AI, research, data, and random stuff.